Having your little one receive their recommended vaccinations on schedule means that your child can enjoy protection backed up by established science. Uh, but there is still misinformation circulating about vaccines. Kevin Lance Dancentella introduces us to a four month old patient and his pediatrician. Little Otto Hartman is in for a checkup as well as his four month shots today. Mom Desiree Hartman says she heeds the doctor's expertise when it comes to Otto's shots. I go based on his pediatrician's recommendations and he gets the vaccinations that she recommends and that will keep him healthy and safe. Dr. Bianca Johnson is Otto's pediatrician. She says vaccinated kids are safer kids. So we know that these vaccinations are very effective and they help protect our most vulnerable population and pediatrics from preventable diseases. She knows better than me because she went to school for it. So. I trust her recommendations. Vaccines have tremendous potential, and there are consequences for not receiving them. We are, you know, becoming increasingly worried with the decreased vaccination rates in some parts of the country that some of these illnesses that we have had great protection against here in the past are now going to start to creep up again. So more important now more than ever to make sure that those babies are getting their immunizations on schedule. It's not hard to find less than trustworthy health information. If you have concerns or questions, it's best to reach out to a pediatrician. Um, my biggest you know, recommendation or piece of advice for parents is to talk to the pediatrician, develop a good relationship with somebody that you trust, and we will try to point you in the direction of, of good, safe information. In Harrisburg, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Today marks the start of National Infant Immunization Week. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has a page on its website dedicated to helping you zero in on credible information about vaccines. We've included a link to that page in this story on Kevaland.com.